Today we are here with one of the national directors, Michael Masukowicz, and we're going to pick his brain about what he likes in candidates. Okay. So let's say you're looking for a statistical analyst. What are you going to look for in an analyst candidate? Ah, an analyst candidate. Well, there's a couple things. First of all, obviously the ability to deal with statistics. So we have to have a statistical background or at least have experience in having worked uh, with numbers, uh, doing analysis, uh, beyond basic math, uh, although most of our work is done through uh, personal computer applications like Microsoft Office and mm -hmm. Excel. So having experience and having done analysis using Excel spreadsheets okay. that would be very important. And then besides the technical skill, um, also would be helpful to have some familiarity with uh, uh, what we do in terms of the world of human resources, although it's not as critical mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as uh, the actual statistical analysis, because we found that most people can learn what we do in terms mm -hmm. of our client work. Mm -hmm. And therefore, uh, having that strong statistical background first, we will then work with them to develop their skills in working with the clients on their particular issues. Okay. Uh, good. Secondly, you move away from the technical skills and you get into more of the softer skills, some of the behavior skills that we're looking for. Uh, because we're a small office uh, and most of the time you're not going to be traveling and you're going to be working here, you have to stay focused and be able to focus on the projects at hand, mm -hmm. but also be able to multitask. Because many times we have 10 different projects we're working on simultaneously. Okay, wow. So the ability to understand that I need to work on one project for just a little bit of time and leave time to work on other projects at the same time. So that's something also that's very difficult. It's almost like uh, someone coming out of school, for example, having a, a full workload, 18 hours or six classes, mm -hmm that are not even related. So sometimes you have to spend a little time on each one, otherwise you spend too much time on one, you're in trouble because you have to spend any time on the others. So I think that's very important, being able to multitask uh, and then it can ultimately have the ability to communicate clearly, especially in dealing with clients via telephone. Because mm -hmm. again, our statistical analysts are not going to be going out into the field initially. They may have some opportunity to visit clients, but most of the time we're corresponding by email or telephone. So be able to ask the right question, sometimes by email, or to follow that up with a telephone conversation and be able to get the information you really are looking for. Okay. Because sometimes the clients need guidance, and therefore you have to have that communication ability to be sure you can kind of lead them to where you need to go with the information you need. Okay. So it's a combination of the technical and some of those behavioral skills that would really make the ideal candidate. Uh, somebody who is strong in one, too, too much on one side or the other may not actually work. So we're really looking for a good balance in terms of that. Sounds good.